So what do you need to know about exercise in the context of this unit of work? Now, we've looked at how the body gains energy transferred from chemical reactions of respiration, um, which, as we hopefully might know by now, occurs in the mitochondria, and that that energy is packaged up in a chemical molecule called ATP. Now, um, the energy can be used to obviously help muscles to contract and move, which is the basis of exercise. Now, when you exercise, certain muscle groups move more often than others, so they need a higher level of energy and therefore a higher rate of respiration. So if they've got that high rate of respiration, obviously what you need to do is you need to increase the amount of the reactants. So that means you need more oxygen and glucose. Now obviously you take glucose in through your food prior to exercising, but you can obviously take it from storage molecules such as glycogen, that can get broken down and used during the exercise process. And then to increase the rate of respiration, to increase the amount of oxygen, you need to increase blood flow. Which means if you're increasing blood flow, carrying oxygen quicker around the body. And to the cells that need it. And the way in which you can do that is your heart beats faster. And as your heart's contracting and relaxing faster, pushing oxygen quicker around the body, it also means that you are going to need more oxygen being brought into your bloodstream to fulfill that demand. So, the way in which you can do that is by increasing the breathing rate. That brings in more oxygen, a gas exchange in the alveoli, so more oxygen for gas exchange in the alveoli of the lungs so it can then move into the blood be taken to where it needs to be for more respiration to occur and as we said last lesson when you don't have enough oxygen you carry out anaerobic respiration which means you break glucose down into lactic acid which is formed in your muscles but is toxic and can cause muscle cramps so the way in which that's removed is it is broken down by oxygen that's brought into the body through breathing faster. Obviously you work harder, you carry out more exercise, you breathe more. That oxygen comes in to break down that lactic acid. And so this amount of oxygen that's needed to break down lactic acid is called the body's oxygen debt.